this is Brian. Come with us as we take a drive up the Pacific Coast Highway from San Simeon to Monterey, including a stop at Seal Beach and the famous 17-mile drive around Pebble Beach. This is Khaki Shorts, where we cover travel, food, and just utter nonsense. After a visit to Hearst Castle, Sarah and I stopped for lunch at a food truck called Sebastian's at a winery tasting room just down the road from the Hearst Castle Visitor Center. Although the fish and chips were good, the portions were mighty small. This incredible view made up for it, though. We continued up the coast, stopping at Seal Beach to see, well, seals. It was pretty crowded with both seals and people, and very windy. After checking out the seals, we continued on up the famous Pacific Coast Highway, stopping a few times for pictures. We were a bit pressed for time, so we couldn't stop and explore Big Sur. Maybe next trip. We arrived in Carmel and entered the 17-mile drive. The 17-mile drive is named accurately as it is a 17-mile drive around the Pebble Beach area with 17 different stops at different points of interest. We were fighting the clock before sundown, so we only got to see the ocean side and parts of the golf courses. This drive is not free, but it's $10.50 per vehicle and comes with a map of the drive and information about all of its stops. We headed straight for stop 12, which is the famous Lone Cypress. This Monterey Cypress is one of the most photographed trees in the world. A drawing of the tree was trademarked as the symbol of the Pebble Beach Company in 1919. This tree has been through quite a bit of adversity, but remains standing. Next, we move on to the ghost trees of Pescadero Point. I don't know what these plants are. They look almost like succulents. I'm not sure if they change color with the seasons or if they're always multicolored like this. It was a very cool sight nonetheless. There are five stops relatively close to each other, including China Rock, Point Joe, and the Restless Sea. From Point Joe, you can see golfers on a par three with the green right by the ocean. Unfortunately, we had just about used up our daylight, so we headed to Monterey, where we checked into our hotel and got some rest for our visit to the Monterey Aquarium the next morning. That will be covered in our upcoming video. Thanks for coming along on our trip to the coast. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to become part of our community and check out some of our other videos on San Francisco and the California coast.